Morning, folks. It is coffee and looking at Escape from Tarkov Lighthouse trailer time. Now, I wanted to do this uh, yesterday, but we had power problems here in South Africa. So it's an early morning video again. Anyway, let us look at the Escape from Tarkov, um, the lighthouse trailer, as everybody calls it. I'm going to make a couple of comments and uh, we'll see what this holds for us. Okay, so this looks pretty cool. So this house features prominently, I noticed. Um, these look like reused assets um, from Shoreline. Shoreline at the pier. There's this boat, there's that boat. So these are reused game assets. That little boat over there is the one that you go and plant the green sniper rifle in um, on Shoreline. This looks pretty cool. This looks like some sort of water treatment plant. Um, a lot of tanks, etc. And then a building there in the background. That is uh, pretty cool. I think we'll see more of it later. Again, these vehicle um, shaded parking areas. Looks like reused assets. So obviously these are graphical assets that they just reuse. This looks pretty cool. And again, van, ice cream shop, the normal shop, all reused assets. This does look new. This looks very cool and very new. Okay, reused asset. Now this looks absolutely terrifying. This is the scar. We all are waiting on it. Uh, that's a new site as well. That's just the Reap IR. This is obviously new. Um, that's that building probably just from the inside. This is new. This is a new site. And then that's a new type of suppressor. And okay, these are reused assets again um, from Resort. from the sunken village oh this looks cool so these are reused assets obviously from sunken village but uh, this is a 20 gauge uh, revolver shotgun uh, we'll probably use the same ammo as the toz this looks pretty cool it's like a little staging area <clears throat> reused assets that bulldozer from woods that's a reused asset, uh, asset again. They use that on customs and on reserve. Uh, I know Pestele last night joked this was Aqua FPS because he was had no gear and he was looking for loot. This is an interesting addition. This is a HNK G28. Um, and it is actually in the proper configuration with the... Uh, Spittenbender scope and then the aim point on top. Now the G28 is also uh, known as the MR417. It's the HNK's battle rifle cousin. In other words, shoots a 308 round. If you want to see it used in a real life movie, Secret Soldiers on Benghazi, Bean, nah, Bean, Boone uses it. And it's, uh, yeah, HNK. 416 but in a chambering of 76251 NATO um, you can read up the HNK G28 is just a German marksman rifle version of it so same rifle it's just the configuration but this is the actual this is the actual model the actual configuration that they probably used uh, if you want to read more about it go on imfdb.org Oh, cool. This is a very clean reticle. I like it. Reused assets. Uh, 
Oh, a Vortex Rangefinder, that's gonna be so poggers. This is obviously within that treatment plant that we saw earlier. And again, quite a few assets being reused, which is cool, I mean, all studios do that. So this is interesting, this looks like an entrance from the other side to that water treatment pond because you can see them on the left hand side. This is again that house. That house by the ocean there. That's the train from Reserve. That is so cool. And then there is that dome that you can snipe from on Reserve and you can actually see from the resort map. Well, from Shoreline map. I don't know how they're going to do that though to fit it in but okay so I'm pretty pumped we're seeing a couple of new weapons um, I'm not excited or very excited about the scar it's basically going to be a reskinned MDR possibly with 30 round mags uh, I am excited for that uh, HNK 417, but let's hope it's not a reskinned SR25 or something like that. There's so obviously a lot of reused assets, um, some new assets, uh, and uh, it would be interesting to see how they do the actual map, how they lay it out. Um, <clears throat> I'm excited. So Sunday is wipe. We've been playing quite regularly in the evenings. Trying to get rid of a gear. I have 368 million, five thick cases, etc. Big, big uh, challenge for me on the next wipe in the escape from Tarkov. Um, thinking I want to actually try and get to 1 billion rubles. If I played a little bit more, um, and I don't mean play more as in actually the tasks uh, I don't want to say tasks let me rephrase it if I actually spent more time looting spent more time running around instead of chasing so many kappa missions I probably could have gotten it uh, I'd like to see what the kappa requirements are this time I don't think there's any new streamer items that are coming so I want to see what the the kappa items are and the kappa requirements if they keep it at 62 with the dailies and the weeklies, I should be able to get it relatively easy this time around. Um, my strategy for Escape from Tarkov is going to be this bit different this time around. <clears throat> now, time was a big focus on actually trying to do the some of the tasks um, early, but playing with the guys. This time around, I'm going to be a little bit more individually focused, try and get the flea market unlocked within a day or a day or two um i'll probably do quite a bit long streams play deep into the night um and then yeah we'll we'll see how it goes i want to get to 42 within the first week it's going to be a little bit tough but it's fine and luckily with the dailies and the weeklies it makes it a little bit easier unless those tasks are ridiculous so just actually looking at the WhatsApp messages that came through about all the power failures that we had. Um, I'll do a video later today on the barter items that you need to look out for with the traders. 
um, that's worth it right in the beginning. Some of them really, really good. Some of them kind of shitty. Uh, another thing that I will be doing a lot this time around is actually trying to hunt more cultists. Get better gear from them. Because if I can be running... So if I can build a Fleur within the first week or two and I can be running with hex grids and slicks within those first weeks, it should give me a decent leg up. Especially with some of the tasks that you have to bugger off into factory, etc. We'll try for Kappa, see how that goes. Um, but the main goal is going to be trying to get a, th uh, yeah, trying to get actually a billion dribbles this swipe. So you know, we'll see how it goes. Um, the interesting thing is Pestley's prediction of this being the longest wipe was actually not true. This wipe was 15 days shorter than the last one. So, interesting f to see them actually wipe on a Sunday in the middle of December instead of end of December. Um, so, let's hope this wipe is a seven-month wipe. It'll give me good time to try and get the goal of a billion rubles. It'll take a lot of scav runs. Making money in the game is easy enough. Uh, a lot of cultist um, runs. They pay well. And uh, if I can actually get a couple of tigers early, if I can get a couple of tigers early wipe, then that should set me up quite nicely as well. So, yeah, I think that's that's me for now, folks. Can't wait for the wipe. Can't wait for the new map. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting to see what tasks they have on there. So, uh, yeah, have a fantastic day. Further, take care. Cheers.